Recent satellite imagery reveals that Iran has begun deploying its short-range air defense system, named Zubin, around its capital, Tehran, in preparation for potential aerial attacks from fighter jets and missiles from Israel. The Zubin system, also referred to as Iran's version of the Iron Dome, is reported to be highly effective against drones and low-altitude cruise missiles, similar to the Israeli air defense system renowned for its success in intercepting Palestinian rocket attacks. Tensions in the Middle East have escalated, particularly following an Israeli airstrike on an Iranian embassy building in Damascus, Syria which resulted in the deaths of three high-ranking officers of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. In the wake of this airstrike, Iran's top leaders vowed to retaliate against attacks by what they referred to as the Zionist regime. Should Iran launch a significant retaliatory strike against Israel, as is expected in response to the airstrike on the embassy in Damascus, there is a possibility that Tel Aviv could retaliate with airstrikes against Iran, potentially sparking a regional conflict. In anticipation of possible Israeli airstrikes, the Iranian military has mobilized its Zubin air defense system to protect Tehran's airspace. Besides deploying the Zubin system around Tehran to guard strategic locations, media reports also indicate that Iran has relocated its political leaders and military personnel to underground bunkers, such as the Eagle 44 inches underground airbase. The Zubin short-range air defense system boasts high tactical mobility and a 360-degree defense capability capable of tracking 100 targets and simultaneously engaging eight with its vertically launched missiles. Its performance and capabilities are said to rival those of Israel's Iron Dome system, and its design shares similarities with the Israeli defense system. The Zubin system is designed for high mobility, mounted on a trailer to enable easy deployment across various locations. Its radar can detect targets up to 30 kilometers away, with a firing range of 20 kilometers. This newly introduced Iranian air defense system is specifically designed to counter threats such as cruise missiles, kamikaze drones, ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, drones, fighter jets, and long-range missiles and rockets. Each Zubin unit is equipped with a launcher capable of holding up to eight missiles. Iran's mastery of vertical launch missile technology, as practiced in various systems including the long-range air defense system, Bavar 373, signifies a significant advancement in its military capabilities. Few years ago, Iran has claimed new success in its integrated air defense network. A drill claimed that a new air defense system has been unveiled by the Islamic Republic. The drill was named Sky Defenders Velayat 1400 and took place recently, according to reports. In this case, the system confronted various threats and supposedly intercepted them. Images of a new air defense system were published for the first time. Due to the different features of this system with other missile air defense systems in the country, the official information of this new system has not been published yet, said the reports. Tasneem News went much further in looking at aspects of the system.
It notes that the system has four launch canisters and can carry eight or twelve missiles. This would make it similar in some ways to Iron Dome, but it can also be compared to South Africa's Umkanto missile system and its truck-mounted version, built by Danel Dynamics. Iran has in the past tried to copy South African drones as well. In this regard, each unit of the system achieves high mobility and high stability in combat environments with relative independence from the secondary vehicle carrying the radar, says Tasneem. The report says the system has 360 degrees radar coverage and the missiles are launched vertically. This would mean it could simultaneously engage several targets. Due to the need for high accuracy to accurately track targets, these radars are likely to operate in the X-band, the report says.